Greetings, salutations, and all good things in between. What's up, everyone? Matt here. Time to answer another Patreon question. Brad asks, he's building a, an app for recipe costing, uh, and he says up here, there are two types of products in a restaurant kitchen. Raw products bought directly from suppliers and prep items made from raw products and some prep items which are made from prep items and products. Hmm, that's fun. <laughs> Uh, how do you ensure that you can use a prep item in a prep item recipe as well as products in the same prep item recipe? Yeah, the the real question, you're, the thing you're circling around here is when should I use a single table for something versus multiple tables? Let's get into it. Okay, so he says here in the middle, uh, I have the tables products consisting of products from suppliers, prep items consisting of prep items made from the products table, and prep item details, uh, which is a part of the prep item table, and these are the ingredients of each prep item in the prep item table. Okay, so I assume you've got some kind of hier hierarchy kind of like this, where you've got products table where I can say this is the name of the product maybe there's a description in a fo uh, photo this is the supplier we get it from this is how much that it costs maybe some special purchase notes whatever um, you've got a prep item table where you've got same name description photo and maybe included inside here is like the individual steps that you need to do in order to make this prep item like uh, the high basically the recipe if you will um, and then attached to this, you have prep item details where you have a reference link back to the prep item. And then you've got this sort of dual column thing going on where it's like, well, what are you selecting? Do you, are you selecting a product for this prep item ingredient? We can call that this. Or are you using a prep item, right? And so since you've got your products and your prep items separated into two separate tables down here. And that's what makes it difficult for you when you're in your app inside a, and you wanna use a single data entry field, you can't. Because, you know, the if you just go to the mechanics of how things work, that field that you're dealing with is a reference or an enum or an enum list with a base type reference to a table. See what I mean? So it's like, it's singular in nature. It's either your products table or your prep items table. It can't be one or the other. So like, how do you solve that problem? Well, you come in here and you, and you put in two fields, one for a product, one for a prep item. Then you can do some clever things with the show if where it's like uh, you show the product drop down only if the prep item drop down is is blank uh, and you show and vice versa you know what i mean so they only show when the other one is blank so as soon as you put something into one the other one goes away and then you can clear the one and then both of them will show up and you can switch back to the other one so and then like so this is for the the prep item ingredients if you will right and so then you've got like how much of that thing and maybe some steps to do right um so yeah, the, the solution to this sort of dual column type of thing is really to take the two tables that you have and combine them into one. Um, and the result that you'll end up with this is, you know, sometimes when you do this, uh, you have some um, table specific columns in each one where like when I'm doing uh, a raw product that has a supplier. So we bought that from somebody, right? But if I'm doing um, a, a, a prep item, right? Well, we made that and it's a collection of stuff, right? So I need to know uh, what what it, what the item specifically is. And so the way that you do that, you just come down here, right? I've got an ingredient table. So this is the idea where I have the same basic um, identifying information up here at the top. I've got the name, the description, and the photo. Those were common columns in the other one. Uh, but then I included this product type where 
It's a drop down. It's an enum column with two options, either product or prep item. It's required. And based on what you select there, it shows whichever section is supposed to be shown. So if you select that it's a product, then we need to know what supplier we get it from, how much do they cost us, and is there any kind of notes. If we say it's a prep item, then we need to know, well, what are the steps for the prep item? And what I would also do is um, on this ingredients, I would connect that to this prep item detail table as well, where we say, you know, it's, and you wouldn't have to do this anymore. And this would instead just be a single column referenced to the ingredient table, where I say, what ingredient are you using? And then how much and any kind of steps that you need to do. And then the result that you'll have is when I'm on the ingredient and I'm looking at say salsa, right? Then in, so inside app sheet, right? I'll be looking at the salsa detail view and I'll have a list of all of the prep item detail records for this salsa ingredient that I'm looking at, right? And now that I've got all of those things in a list, I can do a whole bunch of stuff with it. It kind of makes math a whole lot easier. I can, uh, there's, you can go a lot of different directions with that. Um, but the thing we're, we're keying in on here is the, the fact that I've taken the two separate tables and I combine them into one. And then when I need to use something, uh, and then in that one, I have another column that differentiates what style of or what type of record this individual record is. And then inside the form um, for the, we're talking about the ingredient table here, this, this combined table, I just have my drop down where I select the type. And then each of these fields has a show if and a required if that says based on, you know, ingredient type equals product. Ingredient type equals prep item, something like that. Um, and you can do this for any different number of sections that you want to include. So if you have like, maybe you got four or five tables that you've separated things out and you're like, ah, they all kind of share the, I guess the thing to key off on here is if you look at a table, if you look at your different tables, like I've got this products and this prep items table, like if I look at these now, I put it together this way for demonstration, but you know, if you look at it and you're like, all right, well, it's got these columns over here that are basically the same as these columns over here. So if you find yourself doing something like that to where it's like, well, they do share some stuff and there's only maybe like on this one, there's only one thing that's different. And over here we got three, but do we need the special purchase notes? we could just make this a general notes for this entry, right? And now this is just a general column. And so the real difference is really, we've got the steps and the supplier and the cost, but cost could, re we really need the cost on the prep item too. And, but that's gonna be a sum of all of the details with their individual costs. See what I mean? So it's like, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can that you can do this, you know, it's app sheet. There's 4 million ways to do anything. Um, it's just about finding the, the most efficient way to do it. And so sometimes it's combining things together like this. Now, sometimes you don't want to do that and you want to keep things separate because having separated lists like that, where I have a separate list of like raw products and a separated list of made products, it's nice to have them separate like that because then you can operate on them differently. You know what I mean? I can process the purchased ones. I can send those through their own process and I don't have to isolate those out first. But to be honest with you, isolating them out is you just create a slice that says, you know, product or that says, um, uh, what was that? Let me get back to it. That, all you do is you create a slice that says, ingredient type equals product. Okay, so that equality like that, you know, column equals whatever, processes like that on your ser on the server. So you don't really have to worry about something like that slowing things down. Even if you've got 50,000 records, that table's not really gonna take that long to load. It might, that's, take that with a grain of salt. 
but you get what I'm trying to get across here, right? So um, yeah, the, the idea, right, is combine things into one and then that gives you the ability to just have a single drop down for the things that you're trying to select from. But like I said, there's four million ways to do anything inside AppSheet. You could come up with probably six different ways to do this exact thing that we're trying to solve with less tables. Like when I first started recording this video, uh, I originally had an idea of how you could solve all of this with one table that had a self-reference. You've got like a type column, a self-reference, so that I could self-reference an ingredient to basically a parent ingredient. And then that child one is now like the ingredient detail. And you can get really clever with AppSheet like that. And based on the does this self-reference column have a value to a parent, if it does, then this record is a child record. It's not a parent record. Like all this sort of intelligence stuff, you can get really, really clever with AppSheet. Kind of why I love it. It's magic for the internet, right? All right, I hope that kind of answered some of the question. Let me know if you need any clarification or any further details. I want to thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. See you in the community.